تتوقف عن حياة العائلة شوف تطبيق الإسلام بالعائلة في شهر رمضان إحنا دائما في الغرفة الثانية <تصفيق> صغير وكل عربية. العائلة هناك مثل, مثل في البيت مش مثل في المجلس أو شيء كيف أقول وايد خاصة يعني if I'm with the family in the small room مثل أنا, أنا واحد من العائلة مش أنا أجنبي أنا أنا ساكن هناك وبس بزير هني أحيانا لا مثل بيتي المشكلة من البداية أنا سافرت كثير وايد يعني أنا كنت في بحرين دبي عمان بلدي يعني تونس مصر أنا ما I was never in one place مكان وحيد long enough not not long enough to actually get settled so I didn't find the brotherhood. I was always missing some sort of feeling of family. And in the family in America, the family is very good. They're such a great family for me, my family is. I'll never say anything against uh, my family. They've been so supportive of me all the way along. But coming to have uh, an Islamic family to help support you, it's very important in a new Muslim's life. وفر لي مكان مريح جدا عشان تعلم اللغة اللغة العربية والشيء من الدين الإسلامي. So right now we are headed to these homes that need some support. The program that we're running right now is where volunteers go out into all the Emirates and they help families in most need. We start that by getting information from them, making sure that they are actually in need, uh, finding the families from the network, the neighborhoods, the charities, and then we will basically go visit them and assess their needs in more detail. I got into this work when I was a bit younger. I used to do some versions of this in, uh, in America, helping out people in, in Detroit and different areas. But the majority of my uh, work came after that, when I came to the Middle East in Tunisia and uh, the Emirates, Bahrain and Oman, we were doing a lot of youth development work. I found this to be a better path for me personally. It was more fulfilling than the field of business or getting into things that were just for profit. So I've actually been working for a non-profit sector for the last six or so years. Um, excuse me one second. The volunteers are all here. And we will be meeting them right now and going inside the homes. Yes. Hi, Ahmed. You're here? Yes, we are coming. we're coming right in now, okay? Thank you very much. Bye. We can't all go into one small area at once. Only some of us can go into the first house. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi is your family here? My, my, my son, the house. Your son house here, yeah. yes. And you live here also, or no? Yes, I live in this big house. In this house over here. Yes. Uh, this is your daughter here? <laughs> they live in this room? <laughs> big room there. How many years? How many years? And what's the problem in the house? Small thing. Small thing. Small thing. راتب 1500 فقط في ابوك اومك انت وعلي صغير صح اربع اشخاص فيزا ميكينج كومباني كل البيت 1500 بس لا هو سكاترينج ذا جيفينج 1500 سكاترينج فور فيزا فور ذا فيزا ايفري مانث 500 فور ذا فيزا so right now we have the volunteers everywhere, running around visiting the families. We're going to basically continue to spread out throughout the area and take the information from the families. If they prove that they need extra things, like a kitchen, like a, a sofa, a bed, as part of the program that the volunteers will come and put the, the mafrushat and all of the different items in the house, assemble them and help them basically. وَمَا تَفْعَلُوا مِنْ خَيْرٍ 
يعلموه الله وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى واتقون يا أولي الألباب. Whenever it comes to learning or reading or uh, the Quran or learning Arabic or even even learning some very basic fundamentals on Islam, the the the, the first thing that I do is say everything around me is in Arabic. So I have to learn Arabic first to get there. And then I say, this is my old me, by the way. Then I would say, OK, well, I have to learn Arabic, but everybody around me speaks English. Then I would keep saying, OK, my job requires me to speak some Arabic because it's a volunteer program with all locals. So I have to learn some Arabic for my job, but they're not funding my Arabic courses or giving me time off to support this. So everybody externally is not allowing me or forcing me or helping me too much along the way. That's the biggest struggle you find when you become a new Muslim. The individuals come and go. Some of them support you a little bit. Everybody says they want to help you, but maybe they aren't the right people to help you in the first place. But I force myself a bit here and there to learn a lot more and to try to practice actually some classical Arabic, not just the slang that you pick up on the streets with the people and how to communicate, but learning a bit more about the, the original Arabic. Everything has been given to me. I'm very fortunate. I should not have to suffer just because I have to find a little different way of living my life or something I have to learn to, to live my life better. So little by little I've become a little bit stronger and more self-sufficient in terms of this and not depending on so many people to, to help me along the way, which is good and bad because it speaks worlds about what is my perception and my experience of the, the Muslim community, but also about how you have to really answer for yourself on the Day of Judgment and every day of your life. It's not about anybody else, it's about how you answer for yourself. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Marhaba! <laughs> Marhaba Sa'a! Shaykh Balik Ya Rayal! Alhamdulillah Tamam! Alhamdulillah, and Inta? Wayne the Arak. I try a little bit, but not good, huh? I buy all matchbus and samaj. Matchbus bil samaj. Oh, why did you on? Ahiyanan basarid al salata or shay basit, yani. Alhain. Aish. Samaj. Dajaj. Sambusa. Aish.